things are warming up. Natalia, what are you doing? Oh, they sure are. Speaking of the weather warming up in Queensland and New South Wales, we are warming up this morning because we are celebrating all things little athletics. I'll be introducing you to some of the sporting superstars of the future next. But for now... Good morning to you and kids, ready, set, go. OK, we are waking up at Albert Park in Melbourne today because we are celebrating all things little athletics. The footy season is over now, so if you're looking for a way to get your kids into fitness, then little athletics is that thing. Kids from 5 to 15 can take part in it. And right now you are looking at some of the sporting superstars of the future, and they're pretty cute to boot. But right now let's take a look at what the weather is doing across the nation on this Thursday. I am joined by the CEO of Little Athletics Australia, this is Martin Stillman. Martin, just tell me why Little Athletics is such a great thing for Aussie kids to get into. Oh, look, it's just a fantastic sport. As you can see, the kids have so much fun. They make new friends. It's a really great way for our kids to keep healthy in, uh, in a great uh, lifestyle. All right. Well, thank you for having us here this morning. And I better get back to the drill. I'm getting these kids super puffed out, so I better join in. Oh, no, but I've got a shoelace untied, so let's see how far I get. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm being beaten by a nine-year-old. Come on. No. She takes a lot of steps <laughs> over a short pe a period of time and space, doesn't she? Yes. Twinkle toes. Yes. Yeah, like good thing. Wilma Flintstone. She'll get to those 10,000 steps before 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, like, oh, bu -bu 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 oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Good morning. I'm dressed as Sporty Spice today because we are checking out Little Athletics. There are 500 clubs right across Australia and 200,000 Aussie kids are involved in this wonderful organisation. There are so many sports to choose from and the season starts in October and it runs until March. And right now the kids are practising their shot put. They're doing it with bean bags, which is uh, just as well for me because I am right in the firing line of some of those kids. Oh, there we go, right over my head. Good one. Okay, let's take a look at what the weather is doing across Australia. Well, I'm joined now by Olivia. She's 13 years old and she is a champion shot putter. So, Olivia, teach me your tricks. How do you shot put? Okay, so you grab the shot put in your hand like this. Okay. You put it up against your neck, nice and tight. Yeah. Elbow up. Then you lean over. Ooh. With this arm, you're going to pull up and then you're going to push the shot put in the air as okay. high as you can. You show me how it's done. Go. <laughs> oh, she's a professional and she's a champion for her age group. Here she goes, Olivia, a future Australian superstar, potential Olympic athlete. There we go. That was good. All right, and now it's my chance. And uh, did you like my sporting commentary there? <laughs> Olivia's left-handed, so she faces that way. So I've got to face this way, guys. So cameraman, come around this way. OK, and on the count of three, I don't know if I listened to anything Olivia said. Ugh. Oh, good girl. Ow, oh, chucked ow. it. That's good. Especially she's done her elbow. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. Something Shoulder. twinged in there. That was guaranteed. <laughs> Good morning to you. We are waking up at Albert Park in Melbourne, checking out Little Athletics. 200,000 kids right across Australia take part in it every year. The season runs from October to March, so if you're looking for a way to get your kids into sport, then Little Athletics is definitely the go. There are so many sports to choose from. Right now you're looking at hurdles. The kids are practising on some little ones. But after we take a look at the weather, I'll be competing against an 11-year-old hurdles champion on the big ones. Australia sent 60 athletes to the Rio Games last year taking part in the athletics competition and these could be some of the sporting superstars of the future like Moira here who's 11 years old and she does hurdles. So Moira, tell me how do I get over a hurdle? Alright, so... Hurdles you're... in life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> your front leg, whichever okay. one front that leg. is, yep. over straight. Yep. It comes down and your other leg comes, comes round. Back. All right. And through. And, and go. OK, yeah. ready? On the count of ready, steady, go. Ready, set, go. Oh, gosh, oh, no. Oh, no. I can't. They're too scary. Come back. Oh, no. Good job. Oh, oh, I'm ruining the hurdle. I might not be any good at hurdles, Carl, but oh, I was pretty oh, good at Kiss so, Chasey in primary school. So I was good at running athletic. away from the boys. <laughs> like Thanks, Natalia. You did very well. <laughs> Good morning to you guys. We are at Albert Park in Melbourne checking out Little Athletics. It's all about family, fun 
and fitness and we are having a whole lot of fun this morning. Oh, how cute. That's the long jump. I'll be giving it a crack after we take a look at your five-day forecast. I am joined now by the lovely Brooke Stratton. She actually started with Little Athletics, but last year she went to the Rio Olympics in the long jump. She's the Australian record holder with a distance of 7.05 metres. That is so far to jump. Brooke, quickly explain to me how you do long jump. So basically with long jump, you want to be running as fast as you can down the runway. So you're approaching the board um, at max velocity. Um, and when you're taking off, you want to plant your preferred leg down and driving your opposite leg up um, and holding that leg up in the air for as long as you can. All right, go for it, Brooke. Show us how it's done. She can do 7.05 metres. We'll see how she goes this morning. She'll definitely go better than me. Woo! <laughs> That was amazing. So those guys are going to measure that while I warm up. What did she get? 7.04. 7.04. So she almost hit the Australian record. Oh, gosh, I've got a lot to live up to now. Now, you've got to do a bit of hoo-ha before ones. you start. That's what? a long jump thing. <laughs> hoo-ha. <laughs> hoo you've got to do hoo-ha. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which foot do I get? The back it? one? Oh, you boom. should have done a triple jump. Oh, that's anyway. pathetic. Look at that. What did I get? Yeah. 2.5 metres. That's pretty impressive. That's a point at which to start. Yeah. <laughs> you can only improve from there, Natalia. Imagine how far she would have gone if she hadn't done the hoo-ha. <laughs> hoo-ha <laughs> can get in the way of it, can't it? Thanks, Natalia. We'll see you soon. Good morning. We are waking up in Melbourne at Albert Park. We're checking out Little Athletics because the season actually begins in October and goes right through until March. It's a great way to get the kids into fitness. There are so many sports to choose from and plenty of clubs right around the country that they can join, more than 500 of them. So a big thanks to the kids for coming down today and also to the mums and dads and the parents. They are what make kids sport tick so if you want to find out more about little athletics you can head to their website but right now it's time to take a look at your forecast for this thursday speaking of warm we've got jared clifford here warming up he is a paralympic athlete who went to the paralympic games last year in rio he's a vision impaired middle distance runner so that means he does 1500 meters and 5000 meters jared how do you do 5000 meters that's quite a long way to run around this track yeah it's 12 and a half laps i uh, just get in the zone and uh it's like a rhythm it's it flows really nicely and that's what I enjoy about it, yeah. Well, 12 and a half laps, so uh, you've only done about 10 metres. Yeah. And uh, I guess I better join you because that's what this morning's all about, making yeah, me do crazy athletic stuff. So let's get going. We've got let's 12 go. and a half laps to do. <laughs> and uh, Carl and Lisa, I don't think I have a podium finish today. Yeah. It's just a participation medal for me. Yeah, we'll get but back to it. Yeah. And what's wrong with that? It's about how you play the game. A little twinkle right. toes Cooper, eh? Just wouldn't do it <laughs> backwards <a> good... or sideways. <laughs> sideways <laughs> Just watch where you're I going. Can come backwards. Look Thanks, Natalia.